I don't even know what would go through someone's mind when they click this video. How do you make three feature films in one day? Uh, but I'll give you a little backstory and I'll tell you how I did it and uh, why I did it. So basically the big story about this is that Joel Haver has a contest. He does this every year. He's a very famous YouTuber and he's a friend of mine who, you know, pioneered this idea of doing these feature films during the Oscars. Shoot it in three hours, get it done, post it, and there's like a little contest at the end of it. But this year, he decided to do something a little differently. He wanted to take the contest element out of the, the challenge and just make it something for fun. So what was before, like something like very rigid, like, hey, three hours, get it done, post it, and, and then I'll share it. Um, I wanted to expand on that this year because I was like, what if this became a tradition where this is a filmmaking day rather than a filmmaking event of three hours? So me and uh, Joel Dick, my collaborator, decided, hey, let's make three feature films in one day. Um, and in under one day, it's more so like in terms of time frame because we technically shot this over two days, but like in three hour pieces. So we shot a three hour piece the day before, a three hour piece the day of, of the shoot before the Oscars, and then we did a three hour piece during the Oscars event itself. And I'll just kind of break down those three films and talk to you a little bit about you know, why I made them. Um, so the first one um, that we released is called In the Time That It Takes. And basically it's a movie that we shot in three hours and the whole gist of it was we wanted to do something very meta. We wanted to do something that was like self-referential to like how me and Joel Dick make movies. And also like a sort of a, uh, an aggrand uh, aggrandizing what we had done, making it sillier, wackier, you know, darker, a little bit more, you know, filled with emotion than it probably would have been. Um, and it was something that I thought would be interesting to kind of take like what me and Joel talk about in private and put it into public. Um, and then also like sort of fictionalize certain elements about that. Like there's an element in this where we're like very, very, very intensely wanting to win the contest. Um, and, and part of that's true, but like part of that is like clearly like a fabrication for the film itself. Um, this film was pretty easy to shoot because it was just like, hey, let's do something very, very like before trilogy type style where it's very like dialogue heavy, minimal usage of shots. Let's stick to one room for the majority of the film. And I think the most of it was just kind of like waiting in between takes to like kind of let the emotion set with us a little bit, like make sure that the emotion really felt present for the scene. Uh, so we would shoot a scene, wait at like 10, 15 minutes, get everything set up, shoot a scene, wait 10 or 15 minutes, keep doing that over and over until we were done. I think the, sh the film only features like four or five shots. So it wasn't really complicated. It was more just kind of coming up with that dialogue. And, and me and Joel can kind of dialogue in our sleep. So that was not an issue we weren't really worried about. The, the other film that we made, uh, I Want to Win an Oscar. This is a film I shot by myself the day before the Oscars challenge and I shot it in three hours. And I wanted to make a film that satirized like that feeling of when you want to get something done, a creative project, but you don't have anyone available to do it. You just don't have any way of getting it done. Um, you don't have access to people. You don't have access to gear. You don't have access to, you know, a, a central idea that would even be usable, you know? Uh, so I felt like that was kind of like a tangible thing. I was like, well, what if we made this really sad story about this guy who just literally just wants to make a film with his friends and he can't and he has to, make a film by himself and it's just kind of this really sad kind of pathetic act in a way and, and I've been there I've been there making films by myself and I wanted to kind of again satirize that and the whole thing with all these films was we wanted to make a trilogy of films that were both disconnected from each other you could watch them as separate pieces of art but they're also connected enough that like if you did watch them all together you'd feel like there was a strong connection between the three films in some way this film was unique because we shot it on um, a wider lens and with the way that the lens attaches to my camera, it kind of gives it this fisheye effect. And I wanted to shoot it something a little bit differently. I, I've, I've done so many movies where the style is like just very much baked in. It's kind of like the Dan typical style. I wanted to do something that felt very weird and sort of like, I don't know what the word is, like oblique 
like sort of different like sort of odd like sort of like you were like wait what is going on here like why is it filmed in this weird fisheye style it kind of makes you feel like sort of like a fly in a wall like you're sort of watching shit you're not supposed to be seeing um so i wanted to make a film that really felt like you were capturing moments about the stuff and the, the the sausage being made in a sort of way like how how are we making this film you're, you're watching how we're making this film and you really shouldn't be in this in this moment and and a lot of the film i shot by myself i did shoot some scenes with joel dick um and there's a really cute easter egg at the end of this that connects into the film that's right playing right behind me uh waste management where um in waste management we find joel haver's oscar in the trash and then in this film, Dan puts the Oscar in the trash, kind of suggesting there's like this loose connective cinematic, you know, behind the scenes universe to these three films that we made. And then the final film we made was Waste Management. Um, and that was the one we made during the challenge. It's technically our Oscar film, like the one that we actually made during the Oscars. Um, and this was something that we had been working on for about 10 plus years. Um, in terms of a, as an idea, me and Joel have pitched and filmed and made this film about like four or five times at this point, trying to get it together. And the last version of it was like this really bloated, big budget, like Irishman style film about like garbage men and trash and money and all this stuff. And it was never going to get made. It was never going to be something that we were actually ever going to make. It was just too big scale. So I thought it would be kind of interesting. And then we both, me and Joel had both kind of like tapped into like, what if we just did waste management? Like, that's a pretty good idea. And I was like, yeah, that is a pretty good idea actually. So it's just one of those things where we decided, okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna make a film that we've been wanting to make for 10 years, we're gonna do it one night. And we wanted to marry what worked about our last year's film, which was, you know, found footage. And two years ago, we did a film called One Shot, which was like mostly in the car. And we like that, so we're like, what if we took the found footage element of one film and the car element of another film, but then we could get out of the car and it's like a little bit more, you know, playful, but like it doesn't have to be perfect either because it's shot on a phone. So it's not like we're worried about um, the cinematography as much. It's not as big of a deal. And we can kind of go into a Walmart. We can go, you know, sneak up in some garbage cans, go to like a house and dig through some trash. Um, we wanted it to be something that we could kind of be very fluid with. So um, that was an interesting movie to make. And I, I feel like of the three films, it's probably the film that like I was most happy with, like of the three, I think that one. And I really think that the, the I Want to Win an Oscar, those are my two favorites of what we shot this year. But I think all three of them have their, their merits and their value. And I, I was really just excited just to make three different projects. And, and they might not have been as successful as like previous years, but I th do think that like it was unique to like do like a different sort of challenge, like challenge ourselves in a way to make something a little bit bigger in a different way. Um, we're gonna do multiple projects in one night, try to see if like we can kind of replicate the success of doing one project, doing it multiple times. And I do feel like we were successful in that and I did really enjoy making these films. So if you have a, a chance, check out those films and do comment below here if you like them. What did you think was your favorite? film of the three tell me let me know and uh consider subscribing and checking out more on our channel we have a lot of feature films we've dropped four feature films this year already we have a lot more coming so do subscribe and uh see you around Bye bye